of all the classes that I have taught, my class on Introduction to African American History to 1865 is my own favorite class. Uh, and it's the class which has engaged me at a personal level in my own being the most. And that may very well be why, uh, maybe that comes through in the way I teach it. That, um, that somehow it has always resonated with students. That you know, class on slavery. Well, largely slavery because when you teach the United States, right, uh, well, colonial America, the United States to 1865, the hell are you teaching? Largely slavery because 90% roughly of the population are slaves. Uh, uh, and um, although it's interesting, when I teach that class, I have to make choices. You used to say, and in the la in the latter years is, oh, that I've been teaching it, I don't do very much on the Civil War. I don't I don't have the time. Mm -hmm. you see, I can I can do my lectures on the free blacks, in the antebellum period. Or I can do civil war. I have chosen to do the free blacks and let students pick up the civil war elsewhere because I figure that they can always pick up the civil war elsewhere. Around here at this particular institution, it's unlikely that if they don't hear about the free blacks from me, that they'd hear from anybody else. Except maybe you know, just a perfunctory comment or two in one given lecture someplace. But in regard to a set of systematic well-organized, thorough lectures pertaining to the free blacks in the antebellum period is your only chance. Mm -hmm. And in point of fact, I have had over the years a number of students who after the class is over said, you know, we're glad you did those lectures on the free blacks because we had no idea, one, that they were free blacks, and two, what their lives were like. Yeah. 